thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tie a wee uh, black dabbler. I'll just, I'll just show you it here. That's the wee fly there. I'm just going to show you how to put it together. Just hand these up for a guy who fishes low current. Okay? For those guys that watch the channel. Low Gurns in Northern Ireland. And it's the only limestone lock in Northern Ireland. Um, so anyway, the hook and device is a Camazon B175 size 10. The thread we want to use to tie the fly is Uni 380 in red. So we're just going to come in, get our thread started behind the eye of the hook. And I'm just going to work my thread down until I'm past the point of the hook. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the, the waist tag of thread. Now the tail on the fly, cock pheasant flavour. Dyed black. Now take off anywhere between four and a half a dozen. Uh, just not the most robust flavour in the world. And if you're tan flies for yourself or a friend, you want them to last. I'm just going to offer this up to the hook, and you want this for about anywhere between a, a length and a length and a half of the hook over the back. I'm going to come around with a pinch and loop. I'm going to take three turns going down the shank of the hook. Come in and trim that right about the length of the body or so. It doesn't really matter because the body's going to be dubbed. I'm going to use the uni meter, silver and gold in size 14 for the rib. So we'll get a length of this off. I want the silver side so I'm going to tie it in with the gold side facing, my, facing myself. Just offer that up. And then we'll just take our thread up the shank of the hook, tying in these materials. And like I say, you don't need to be too fussy. The body's going to be dubbed, so nice and tight. Um, bring our thread back down, open turns. Just make sure you leave yourself plenty of room at the top. The body is going to be black SLF. Now you can use black seals for, or that's rabbit, that's what SLF is. So just blend bug dub, as they call it. Just blend if you've got a black hers mask or hers ear, just black, blend it with some UV dubbing. If you have it, that'll give you your. CLF now, it's gonna it's the body up. I'm gonna put a body hack on and we're gonna use a, a black cock saddle hackle. So I'm gonna get myself a nice hackle off here, one of these wavy cocky hand tape hackle. And I want you want it long. This is a white flash, it's gonna be strip through the the waves of a big lock. Okay, I'm going to catch that in. Come in and trim away the stem of the haggle. I'm going to get two turns going at the front of the shoulder of the fly and then I'm going three turns down the body. Now, if you want it more beefier put three turns at the shoulder and then four turns down the body and that will beef it up for you. Now, I'm just going to come around with my Mailar. And you're looking four turns of the Mailar tinsel up the body. Now, just bring it up as quickly as you can. It'll not matter. You're, because the tinsel's broad, you'll catch in favours. It's it's just inevitable. It's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Just catch that in. Come in and trim away the tinsel. We'll trim away the tip of the bag and then we'll come in with our Velcro. Just make sure your thread's out of the way or you'll just bust your, your thread. Now just sweep everything back. Bring your thread back up tight against your, your body hackle. Now I'm going to put another wee hackle on the front. It's just a hand hackle. It's a an Indian hand cape that has been dyed black. 
nice wee hack off here. I'm struggling to see one, even though I've got glasses on me. Going blind, but hey, I'm just going to, after the tip up, a couple of turns, catches in your tip. Now just belt and braces, just flip the tip back. And then tie up over the top. I'm sorry if you're, apologies if you're hearing me snuffling. Seem to have a touch of the cold. Now I'm just going to come around with two turns of the hand haggle because we have a, you have a wing and then you have the bronze mallard wing and then you have a jungle cock. Now you get to that point, just keep the hold of your haggle stem, follow that around with your thread, get a couple of tight turns in, and come in and trim away the, the stem of the haggle. Sweep everything back. A couple of turns in front. Now, that's your, your body and your, your haggle on. Just need to get a bronze mallard fibre. Strip away the rubbish at the bottom. Then bring out the fibre that you want to see in the wing. Just perpendicular to the stem of the, the, the fowler. Grab it at the base and rip it away. Then we're going to come in and all we're going to do, I'll try and do this on camera, is just fold the feather in half, just like that. And that gives you your, just bring up that camera, that gives you your wing. Now you could use either side, you can use that side, you can use it, it's up to you. Then just take the length, now you can have it really long, you can have it short, but it's just it's your own personal, personal preference as a tire and as a, an angler. Now, I'm just going to offer it up because I want the tips to be coming into the, the tail. Then just come round and just hold this on the hook. Come round with the pinch and loop. A couple of turns to hold and then we'll see what way we're We'll see what way we're sitting. Mm. Yeah, just gonna take it back. Just not happy with my side. So just gonna come back in again with the bronze mallard. See him just get your measurement again. Just holding it on the hook, come around with a pinch and loop. Come to take turns. Slide your fingers back. That's better. Now at this point, just come in and lift your bronze mallard. Just lift it up. Get a nice clean cut. Anything it wants to go forward, just sweep it back. Bring your thread to the eye. And just build it up over the, the cut ends of the bronze mallard. Now we're going to have the pretty big jungle cock on the pattern. Because it is required, but you could use um, goose bats or split eyes. But I'll just shoot you the wee cape here for. It. But uh, there's some salmon size jungle cock left on the cape, and they're, they're fairly decent eyes. But you see when you get down to here, you know these are good wee eyes for your traditional Irish look style flies, or even I mean, your wee size. Um, 14s and 12 doubles or travels or singles for the salmon just whatever you prefer to, to tie but you have to use your jungle cock up guys it's just so expensive now you know decent cape but geez anywhere between 100 and 100 pounds up and I've just got the wee eyes here so I'm just gonna separate those just come in and gently stroke back the Fibers that I, that I don't need. And then we're just going to offer them up to the hook. So just offer them up. Come in and hold them. Just come around with a couple of loose turns. Just the much way you would do with a, a salmon jungle cock. And then we're just going to position these now. This wee one on my side. Just doesn't want to play ball here with me. If 
but we'll get them fixed. Uh, I just want to have a wee check on the length. As you can see there, this one here on this your side, just a wee tad too long, so just going to pull it in. And then we'll have another wee check. Ah, that's us now. Uh, just come in, hold the jungle cat. I'm going to tighten up, going down towards the eye this time. Keeping your thread tight. Fold back your stems. And then build up your head over the over the stems of the jungle cat. Put that nice shape you want to see in your in your head of your fly. Now, keeping the thread tight. You can come in and break away the stems of the jungle cat. And then come in and throw in a whip finish. Just have a wee tidy of the head here at the same time. Pull your thread tight. Come in and trim away your tan thread. Right. That's our wee fly there. So that's the wee black dabbler. Make right, your wee fly. I'm just going to come in and first coat on to the head. Super glue. You don't want to use super glue guys, just use your your varnish. And we're just going to work this the whole way right around. And then once that dries I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish just to seal everything up. But there you go guys, hopefully it's got something from that. That's the the black dabbler um, and you always need a wee, wee blacky or a wee black fly in your box in my view so if put a few of those together and if you're a lock style angler or a trout angler hopefully they can catch you a few fish um, might even work for a dog on that wee fly so look tie a few of those up hopefully they can catch you a few fish as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, if you like the wee videos you're, I'm putting together and this is the first time you've watched me tie fly, um, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps the wee channel out. And until next time, folks, please stay safe and tight lanes.